All right, folks, Jill, you know, NBC News reports that Trump faces about 30 counts. Again, the indictment is still sealed. We do not know the charges. Um, but what should we expect to learn on Tuesday? Obviously, we will finally learn what the precise facts that are relied upon are and what the exact criminal violations are. And there are many that are possible. Uh, there's a lot of speculation, but we'll know in two days. And I think we should all await finding out whether they are felonies, which is reported. And that means that some of the false records were elevated because they were done to prevent disclosure of or as part of a, another crime. And we'll just have to wait and see what those are. But they will be very important to know. Harry, there is new reporting from Politico, and it, I'm going to read it to you. It reads, quote, Trump's delay tactics. Uh, Trump has finally has spent decades refining tactics for prolonging his legal fight as his lawyers attempt to outweigh and outlast the patience of his adversaries. Though criminal indictment presents him with a different set of options and obstacles than his many previous bouts in civil court, there's still a substantial menu for him to choose from. Talk to us about how these delay tactics um, that the former president likes to employ could play out in state court. Sure. And let's just start with how they could play out in any court. Any defendant would be able to do a series of pretrial motions and maneuvers that could take eight months, 10 months. But, um, you know, there's a Speedy Trial Act in New York, and, and you would think uh, Trump would be eager to, ha to be um, vindicated. It's also the case, Simone, in New York, that many um, kinds of rulings that in federal court could be appealed right away, and that's what gave uh, Trump leverage previously to stop the music while he went up and down the system. In New York, it doesn't work that way, so there'll be trial court rulings to which he'll object, and and he'll just have to wait till the end of a trial and prospective conviction to take them there. So he, he's got options. And of course, it's a novel, um, it's unprecedented, as you said, and then and it has the extra novelty of being a state court prosecution. That will be grist for the legal mill, but still he, he will be limited by New York law to extending it for, you know, in more than, say, a year. So. Andy, amidst all of this, um, we've got Republican lawmakers, uh, folks like Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, who this afternoon claimed that D.A. Alvin Bragg, uh, quote, weaponized the law for political purposes. This is, this is the same tune that we've frankly heard from many Republican lawmakers. We've heard it on Fox News. How does this effort to undermine the legal system, uh, what, how does it help Republican lawmakers rally the Republican base to back Trump. I just, I don't understand. And Ron DeSantis, frankly, is also somebody that is potentially running for president. And so why is he helping Trump? Well, I think the total uh, amount of support, the unanimity among prominent Republicans in Washington, but also elsewhere like Ron DeSantis, shows how much Donald Trump still controls the Republican Party. Ron DeSantis, governor of Florida, someone who is talked about as perhaps the most formidable 2024 challenger to Donald Trump, is right there with a statement claiming that he won't extradite Donald Trump to New York, even though really constitutionally DeSantis can't do that. You have other declared candidates in the Republican side saying this is wrong, rushing to Trump's defense. I mean, it just shows how much the Republican Party is still Donald Trump's party. And, you know, they've really thrown out all of these notions of constitutionality, rule of law, due process, all these things that when they tilt in Republican favor, Republican elected officials are so quick to profess, so quick to trot out. But in this case, it is 100 percent obedience and loyalty to the former president, despite the fact that this is how the judicial process, this is how the legal process is supposed to work in this country.